The October sky was wretched, moon stretched above the trees. Its dullish beams of dusklight tormented remaining leaves. The clouds, both thick and wispy, a northly wind did howl, hung over the browning landscape, the stench of summer's bowel. The hill was densely forest, no homes or fields in sight, a single road of dirt cut through its heart like blight. At the bottom lay a crossroad, on top was just one rock. From here the view, all the sea, the harbor, and the dock. The rain was coarse and viscous, the kind that will not drip. The temperature was vicious, stinging like a whip. Sound seemed not to travel, could witness one's own breath. Winter's darkened rumors of autumn's certain death. Her footsteps slowly trotted through the rung and up the hill, through the wood to her granite post just past the idle mill. Her heart was drowned with longing, her soul torment with fear, that of her sojourn lover to whom she held so dear. Her daily vigil kept perched high upon the rock, waiting for her lover's ship to boldly return to dock. For months on end she made this trek, up and down that hill, across the rung to the rock, to wait, abide, and still. She beheld, she bewaited, day long and day out, return he would anon, this of she had no doubt, in black dress and cloak, so ghastly and so bold, perched on the granted boulder, as Hallow's month drew cold. The harbor pitched in darkness, ne'er pinpoint of light. The fog is thick as spruce pitch on this cold October night. In her sorrow it was neglected, and this intrepid winter haze covered her heart and her stone, both in a frozen glaze. She stood to get her bearings, and in anguish returned home. Her footing was precarious, soaked, chilled to the bone. Slip of the heel, down she went, falling backwards, hit her head. Kin found her the very next day, stiff, she joined the dead. Seasons would pass till the word finally came, his ship was captured by Yanks, the crew had been slain. Though Lucy passed away on that cold October date, there are those that still swear, they witness Lucy wait. For when the moonlight is dripping through the autumn lingering leaves, when the fog clings to your skin and a frosty web it weaves, whilst fall breeze darkens the trees and hearkens groaning sounds, it's night like these in the autumn freeze, Lucy makes her rounds. Suffer on to thee, reader, and avoid you, Lucy's fate. Go on with life forward, afford not wasted waste. As tis here she had perished, in black coat and frock, forever this place known as simply Lucy's Rock.